got a snapper. Oh, look at that. We got one. Hey, what's up everybody? Derek here. What a beautiful sunny day. Today, guys, I decided to switch it up a little bit. So I'm fishing at one of the lo uh, local neighborhood parks here, and there's a great spot for snapper fishing. So I'm going to see if I can catch me some snapper. Now I got uh, some thread fins with me that I caught earlier with my baitcast net, so I'm going to cut them up. And they're pretty decent size too. I'll show you guys how big they are. Uh, look at that. They're pretty decent sized thread fins, so I'm going to cut them up in chunks because the snapper prefer these in like little small chunks. And then right over here in this corner, right over here, right over there, I'm going to catch some snapper for you guys. So without further ado, let's get this started. All right. Okay, guys, uh, I want to show you guys how I'm cutting these thread fins up here. I got one right here. I got a pretty decent sized thread fin right here, right here. And I want to show you guys how I'm cutting them up. I cut the tail off at an angle like this. And then I just cut it in small chunks like this. Just like that, small chunks, just like that. I'm gonna put a little piece here on this hook. I'm gonna send this right down there. That little piece right there, I'm gonna send it down. I'm gonna drop it right over here too. Right in front of this right here. Where were they at? We just down there too. Let's put this right here the way that current's going. There he is, right there. There we go. Got him, guys. I told you. I got him. He went in the rocks, but he'll come out. He'll come out of those rocks. There he is. I got him. Look at this. See? Look at that. I told you I'll catch one for you guys. They're all right here along the seawall. I'm not keeping any, but he's well over, uh, I'd say he's probably about 10 inches. I still got my bait. Look at this. Still got my bait, guys. He went for that sucker. He's hungry. There he is. <laughs> all right, see ya. And I'm gonna go right over here in this corner right here and just put it right there. I got a little split shot on there and uh, That'll help keep the bait down there a little bit. Let's see here, see if I can get some bites. We got an outgoing tide right now. Uh oh, I felt a bite. There we go, guys. We're on. Oh, we got a snapper. We got a snapper. Oh, look at that. We got one. Look at that, guys. Look how easy that was. That was a pretty decent size, too. He's probably about 11 inches. I'm not keeping any fish today. I'm just out here showing you guys, like, you want to catch some snapper, catch these thread fan because there's a bunch of them out here. Cut them up in chunks, put them on a little small hook. Got a little split shot right there, about 18 inches from the hook. You'll catch snapper all day, guys, right along the seawall. There we go. There we go. And nibbling at it. Ooh, that was a nice pull. Come on, come back for it. There it goes. I got him. I got him. Oh, yeah. I got him out of those rocks. Oh, yeah. I got him, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Woo wee. Oh, yeah. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. They get bigger and bigger every time. Bigger and bigger every time. Now, that one. I'm gonna measure him. Let me get my measuring stick. I'll be right back. Okay, I got my measuring stick. I just wanna see how big he is. I'm guessing that he's probably 12 inches. He's a nice size. Let's see here. Let's let's see how big you are, buddy. Let's see here. Oh, he's 11. 
Guys, he's 11 and a half inches. That is a keeper snapper right there. All day, every day. Let's see if I can top that. That's 11 and a half inches. Let's see if I can top that. I'm going to put it right back over there near that dock. The way that current is going, it's going this way, so it's pushing that bait this way. And those snapper are swimming along the outer edge of those rocks. And so that's where I'm getting them at. There we go. There we go, guys. Oh, yeah, he smashed that. Oh, my gosh. He, oh, that's a nice one. Oh, he smashed it, guys. Look at this. Oh, he smashed that. Wow, look at that snapper. That's a nice snapper right there. He took that and smashed it. Look at that. Another nice catch. Like I said, I'm not keeping any today, but if I was, guys, I probably would uh, limit out in no time. Look at that. On cut thread fins. All right, I'm going to put him back. Okay, let's put you back, buddy. Oops. There we go. There we go. We got him. Got him, guys. Finally. That's a decent size one, too. Look at that. That's a decent sized snapper right there, guys. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He needs to calm down and I'll get him. I'll get him off this hook, hey, buddy. All day, every day, guys. Wow, what a great day at this park fishing, guys. Some of the best fishing sometimes is at these little neighborhood parks. I'm telling you, if you guys have neighborhood parks in your neighborhood, why don't you go over there and give it a shot? You might surprise yourself because there's a lot of rocks along the seawall and that's where you're gonna find those mangrove snapper. I originally came out here to uh, target mackerel and wasn't able to get onto the bite. But then I seen a bunch of mangrove snappers swimming along the seawall here. You guys see those rocks back over there. They were swimming all up and down those rocks. So then I decided to change tactics and um, cut up some thread fans and then I started throwing them down here throwing them down here to the uh, in front of the snappers and the bite was on fire they couldn't resist it it was like snapper candy so um, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was exciting for you guys to watch I hope you learned something if you did much love is appreciated if you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you'll be automatically notified when I post new video content that's all I have for you for now thanks for watching you guys have a great week and I will see you in the next one peace Thank you.